हेलो एवरीवन वी विल कंटिन्यू द टॉपिक इंटरैक्टिव क्लासिकल रिपोर्ट इवेंट एंड वी स्टार्टेड विद द फर्स्ट इंटरैक्टिव क्लासिकल रिपोर्ट इवेंट दैट इज एट लाइन सेलेक्शन वी टुक द रिक्वायरमेंट इन विच वी विल डिस्प्ले द डेटा फ्रॉम ऑर्डर हैड अ टेबल ऑन द बेसिक लिस्ट we will display that data from order item table on the secondary list so we start with the requirement and in the last video we displayed that data from order header table on the basic list this is our basic list or you can understand in a way up to this point of time there is no interaction we simply simply displayed the output using write statement as of now currently it is classical report only now it will be now the interaction will start we will interact with the output and we will go to secondary list as of now this is there is no interaction it is simply simply a classical report now we will go for the second part of the requirement whenever user will double click on a record or whenever user will select a line and do f2 or whenever user will select a line and click on to choose button we need to display the details on the secondary list secondary list from which table order item table now you all know user is interacting with the output interacting it means it is what interactive classical report and we all know very very well whenever user will double click on a record or select a line and do f2 or select a line and click on to choose button which event triggers at that point of time at line selection just see as of now choose button is not there whenever i will write the logic whenever i will call the event at line selection you will see the choose button also there just we will wait i will write the logic now we will go for at line selection and it is interactive classical report as of now you can consider before this line it was simply simply a classical report now we are interacting with the output so now it is interactive classical report so i have written the event at line selection i will activate the program now you can see whenever i will run the program now have you seen we have choose button is coming now and what is the shortcut f2 previously it was not there now whenever i will select a line and do f2 whenever i will double click a line whenever i will select a line click on to choose button which event will call at line selection i will show you in debugging mode you will understand fully suppose i am writing some random statement as a part of at line selection so that i can show you at line selection event is triggering or not i will remove this random logic just to show you i am running the program i am giving the input whenever i will click on to execute button which event will call start of selection first so now my basic list is coming whenever i will double click suppose i am double clicking have you seen that break point automatically stopped as a part of which event at line selection because whenever you are double clicking on a line which event called at line selection and you can see this is your secondary list secondary list as of now we put some random logic suppose i am running the program again suppose now i will select a row and click on to choose button 
Now, have you seen again which event called at line selection only? Now, suppose I'm just going for, I'm just selecting a row and I'm doing the shortcut F2. Have you seen again which event called at line selection? So we saw in that debugging mode also that yes, whenever we are going for either of these actions, at line selection event is calling. Now we will go for further dig down and this is the most important part. If this is clear, next part will go very, very smooth. Now, what is our requirement? Suppose I will remove this. What is our requirement? Our requirement is whenever user will click on to a record and do F2 or click on to choose button or double click, the details of that order number only should display on the secondary list. Suppose I'm clicking on to fifth record. This is fifth record. On the fifth record, what is the order number? Five. What is the order number five? It means on the secondary list, the details of which order number should display only five. Okay. Maximum people cram here. They will think on fifth uh, on the fifth record, we have order number five. Okay. Suppose now I will give you more clarity. I'm not going for range. Suppose I'm saying one, two, and five. Suppose I'm going for random order numbers. I'm not going for range. I'm going to execute. Now, have you seen? I have only three order numbers in the output because I'm not going for range. I'm going for single, single values. Now, just see what the requirement is. If I'm double clicking on to third record, I'm double clicking on to third record. But on the third record, what is the order number? Five. It means I need to fetch the data of order number five from which table? Order item table. Suppose I'm clicking on to second record. On the second record, what is the order number two? It means I need to fetch the data of order number two from the item table and need to display on the secondary list. Suppose I'm clicking on to order number, I'm clicking on to record number one. On the record number one, what is the order number one? It means I will fetch the details of order number one only from which table order item table. Now, this is extremely important point, how, how we will write the logic. So for this, I will again put a random logic and show you. Here we have one system variable which will play a vital role here, vital role. I'm putting a breakpoint. I'm executing the program. I'm giving the input, execute. Whenever I will double click on a record, whenever I will double click on a record, yes, we have one system variable, extremely important system variable. What is the system variable? Psi L I S E L. Yes, it starts with S Y. It means it's a system variable. What is L I S E L? If you want to remember, you can remember by line selection. It is a system variable which returns the contents of the selected line. Whatever the row you will select, the contents of that line will be in this system variable. Most, most important system variable from interview perspective also. Suppose I'm double clicking on to fourth record. On the fourth record, just see this is the data. I will double click. When you double clicked, which event called at line selection? But is the system variable psi L I S E L. Have you seen this psi L I S E L 
has the contents of the selected row. Just see, this is the particular row you selected. Yes. Order number four, order number four. This is the date, this is the date. This is the D, this is D, this is I and R. Suppose I'm clicking on to another record. I'll take random data. Suppose I'm saying one, four, five. Executing. Now I'm clicking on to third record. On the third record, what is the order number five? I'm double clicking. Whenever you will double click, we have a system variable. What is the system variable? Psi, L, I, S, T, L. And what is the value on that third number record? Order number five. What is the date? This is the date. What is this N? What is this INR? INR. So whenever you are selecting a record on the basic list, whenever you are selecting a record which system variable is returning the contents of the selected line? Psi L I S C L. Psi L I S C L. And this system variable will help us to fetch that data from the item table. Now we will continue this part in the next video. So, what is the summary of the video? In this video, we studied that whenever you are selecting a line and do F2. Whenever you are selecting a line, click on to choose button. Whenever you are double clicking on a line, which event triggers all this? Add line selection. And yes, whenever you are going for any of these actions, we have one system variable, psi L I S T L which always capture the contents of the selected line. And based upon this, we will write the logic to fetch data from order item table. So that's it in this video. Thank you.